Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari A to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari 8-bit games, some which I grew up with and some which are new to me. Today is one of the former. This is Pathfinder, a 1984 release from Activision, and one of my favourite releases by Activision from the time, actually. This was developed by a guy called Dave Lubar, whose work we've previously seen on this series in the form of Master of the Lamps. Uh, on the Atari 8-bit, he also worked on Hacker, which was also an Activision game, and Ultima 4. Uh, which is an early role-playing game um, that uh, I don't know if we'll put it on this series because it's an absolutely sprawling game that uh, we probably can't really do justice to in 20 to 30 minutes, but uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, Pathfinder is an archaeological shoot 'em up that takes place in the year 8878. I'm not even sure how you pronounce that as a year. 8878, I guess? Um, and you're exploring irradiated planets trying to find artifacts of the past. And this game is particularly noteworthy for its uh, sort of freeform exploratory structure. So rather than working your way through a linear sequence of levels, you could choose which direction you went on an overview map at the start of the game. Uh, and basically you could affect your difficulty by choosing the areas that you went to. It was also noteworthy for incorporating purchasable power-ups as well. So you could spend uh, things that you'd acquired in the stage on these various power-ups that could provide you with various benefits. So they could do things like slow the rate of radiation increase or uh, remove the radiation from your ship or, or various other things as well. So, best thing to do is to jump in and take a look. So let's go play Pathfinder. Okay, here we are with Pathfinder from Activision. After last week's monstrosity of a shoot 'em up, uh, this week we have an actually good shoot 'em up, um, and one of my favourites. So, uh, what you do in this game is you are doing alien archaeology type stuff. Uh, and what you do, first of all, on this map, you choose which direction you want to go, and then you go. Uh, no, that's not true. You buy stuff firsthand. Uh, but do we have anything that we can use? Yes, so um, heavy metal um, reduces the rate at which uh, radiation builds up. Beam shield shields you against enemy shots. Scrambler, um, I think that stops enemies tracking you. And deradiator um, gets rid of radiation. So, let's go. And so what you have to do is work your way through each stage and blow shit up. Because that's what archaeology is all about. So, unlike most shoot 'em ups you have this interesting sort of spidery thing. Apparently inspired by Daddy Longlegs. Um, and you work your way through the environments. You can adjust your speed and you can jump. And jumping becomes important for a couple of reasons. Firstly, to hit targets that are not on the ground, which you can tell by their shadows. And also to get over some of these walls. And there we go. First area complete. The lovely bonus for the amount of radiation we had or did not have. So, we picked up a B thing along the way, um, which means that we've now got two of the beam shields. So you collect those power-ups as you go through, um, and, well, you carry on from there, really. All right. Continuing... Oops. So, if I remember correctly, the sort of actual goal of this, rather than just blowing everything up, is to um, find artifacts and deliver them. And the more of those you deliver, the higher your rank is. Um, where you find those artifacts, I don't quite remember. But I'm sure one will turn up sooner than later. Let's try this way. These floating orb things, if you shoot them, it will uh, get rid of some of your radiation. So that's actually quite a good thing to do when you can, because it saves you... It allows you to save your deradiators. Because you, you want to try and keep those for emergencies if at all possible. Oh no, death! Death comes to us all. 
sometime sooner rather than later. Alright, come on. Let's find some stuff. We've got archaeology to do. Space archaeology. Nothing here. Okay, let's try this way. Oh, that's an artifact there. Bollocks. Please still be there. You're not there anymore. Oh, how disappointing. Right. So, we've gone a certain distance, uh, and that means that the map expands somewhat. Now, um, I've also just noticed those arrows in the corner. I believe that may mean that there are artifacts in that direction. So, let's let's see if that's the case. Um, so, let's have that scrambler. See if that gets rid of those annoying flying saucer things. Radiation building up. You'll notice the sort of Geiger counter noise in the background accelerates when the radiation is building up. Gives you a nice kind of feeling of tension as you're progressing through the game. Oh, missed. Oh, lots of balls. Hehe. <laughs> balls. All right, that still says up and left. So let's keep going left. Oh, this is a super radiation-y area. Oh no, these are artifacts. There we go. Right, let's... Oh no! And I bet you lose them when you die. Oh, I'm dead anyway. Hmm. Okay, let's have another go at that. Because I can do much better than that. Uh, so, so you don't have those arrows to begin with. I was wondering if they were there in the first place, but uh, apparently not. So, we just have to proceed a certain distance to open the map up and start getting those clues, I guess. So, let's just blast our way through a few of these levels. Grab one of those, whatever that is. Ooh, five. Whatever that is. Is that five artifacts? I think it might be. If so, that's a, a very strong start. Okay, so uh, let's go up from here. No, it's not five artifacts. Or is it? How do we deliver those then? Hmm. I think I'm forgetting things about this game. Important things. Ah, oh, radiation! No enemies here, though. Just walls. Hmm. Okay. So, how do we deliver those then? We can't go down to the bottom. Do we press something else? No, that's pause. Uh, we do want to de-radiate, say. Um, and continue. This is the one we just came through, I think. Yeah, I was just wondering if to deliver them, 
You bring them back through an area you've been through previously. But I guess not. No? Okay, let's try this way then. Um, oh, no dear radiators. Let's have some heavy metal, because that will slow the rate of radiation acquisition, if you will. Right, that's a thing. That's a thing worth one, whatever that is. Uh oh. Maybe we just need to advance to that point where the map expands. And maybe we'll deliver stuff then. Let's uh, let's work on that assumption for now. I should have read the manual before playing this. But I... <clears throat> I thought I was more familiar with this game than I apparently am. So, apologies. Alright, just run and jump, little ship. Oh no! Oh, you lose half of your stuff. That's not good. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's keep going this way. Over that one there. Nice. See, this is a good example, I think, of a game that sort of has a really simple idea, but it works really well. So, I mean, it's not especially complicated, but just this. There's variety in the level designs without making things overcomplicated. Those power-ups make things interesting. You've got collectible things. You've got lots of ways to score points. Yeah, it's a game I've always had a very strong soft spot for. Even though I apparently don't understand it. <laughs> okay. Um, um, maybe we have to go for those circular things. Let's see what that does, shall we? Uh, scramble your asses. I'm also going to absolutely leg it through this level. Ooh, what do I want those? I would quite want to... Oh, missed! I'm going to die horribly. What did that do? Oh no! Just losing my artifacts! Right. Oh, extra life. Hello. Alright, get me out of this irradiated hellhole. Forward! Yeah, I just really like the abstract scenery in this as well. It really sort of adds to that feeling of being on an alien world and exploring it. Uh oh. Shoot the thing. Get the. St oh, I missed them. Oh, I missed that one as well. Bollocks. Right, this way. Don't jump when going through those gates because you'll bang your head on them and die. Ooh, what's that? I don't know, but I've got it. 
so much radiation. Right, I'm going to keep heading for that circle thing. See if that's a base. Uh, oh, deradiator. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I should have probably said... No! Idiot! I should have probably saved that deradiator for when it was a little more urgent, but, you know, I just... I just, I just wanted to clean up a bit. What, what is this? Oh, what's happening? What is happening? Why am I glowing? Oh, did I just deliver some stuff? I think I did. I must have done. Yes, delivered two. There we go. Promotion at five. I am nearly a raw recruit. Check me out. Okay. Um, so, let's continue in this direction. Grabbing some more space pizzas along the way. Because they are very much in demand at present. Get away from me, nasty aliens. I'm here to steal your treasures. What is this? Oh, I'm on fire now. Why have I gone blue? Are you temporarily invincible after you deliver something or something like that? It looks like you might be. I seem to have stopped gathering radiation as well. Okay, right. Uh, let's go to the right. Ah, uh, moving things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Got rid of the radiation. If all else fails, kill yourself. That's uh, not a good creed to live by, by the way. Go away! That's why the scramblers are helpful. It makes those things go away. Right, what do the two dots on the chart mean, I wonder? I don't know. Let's keep going this way. Uh, radiation is going to be a big problem. Shoot the thing. And... Oh no! There's another thing that looks like me over there. What was that? I'll probably never know now. Oh, these things are so awkward to get through. Oh, made it. Uh, okay. This way? Yeah, why not? Oh, enough with these annoying obelisks. Oh, I have died. My archaeology adventure is over. Anyway, that was Pathfinder. That was a learning experience for all of us, I think. So, there we go. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. New episodes of Atari A to Z are on Tuesdays and Atari ST A to Z on Thursdays. Check out Atari A to Z .wordpress.com for a full archive. Do please also check out my other projects moegamer.net where I explore Japanese and Japanese inspired games from yesterday and today and videopackgames.wordpress.com which aims to catalogue the small but well formed library of the Philips G7000 video pack computer also known as the Magnavox Odyssey 2. You can also support my work on Patreon or buy me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Thank you.